and welcome back to my channel for today's makeup look I went ahead and created this peachy glam glow for you guys it is super easy to accomplish I used mainly drugstore products so you guys can easily recreate this look and I loved how it turned out so if you guys are interested in seeing how I accomplished this look let's just go ahead and jump into the tutorial to start off, I'm going to go in with my usual, the Mario Badescu Rose Water. I just love this stuff, so let's just go ahead and spray that. To moisturize and prime my skin, I'm going to be using this one. It'll act as two things in one, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply it just a little dime-sized amount on the skin just to add a little bit extra hydration and create a nice smooth canvas for our makeup to apply over top. Next, I'm taking my Hard Candy Sheer MB Stick It to Pores. This provides coverage to blur out any pores that I might have, as well as creating a mattified face um, to control my oils throughout the day. To give us that glow from within, I'm taking my True Match Lumi Lotion. This stuff is literally like my holy grail. I tend to go to it a lot, but it is just a really nice base before applying our foundation. And to blend all of that out, I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm just going to go ahead and pound it all over the skin to make sure it absorbs nicely and it is all even. To fill in my brows, I'm going to be taking this pencil from Rodial, I believe is the name of the brand, and it is just in the shade Brunette and I'm just going to go ahead and quickly fill my brows in before applying the rest of my makeup. Then I'm going to take my Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer in medium light and I'm just going to apply a little bit onto my lids and clean up under the brow area and use it as my base for my shadows. To set that in place, I'm going to be grabbing a little bit of my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder and I'm just going to be dusting this all over the lids just to make sure it's not tacky and all of my shadows blend out nicely. This next step is completely optional, but I am going in with a little bit of scotch tape just to give us that nice clean cut for our shadows. So as I did mention, we are going to be using this BH Cosmetics Blush Neutrals Shadow Palette. And I'm just picking up this coral color. It really doesn't have a name but I'm just gonna be applying this all over the crease. I'm gonna start building this color up and then we're gonna layer more colors right over top. Next, I'm picking up just a darker coral shade. This looks more of like an orangey tangerine kind of color. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing, just in windshield wiper motions, apply that all over the previous color and just building it up. Since this is a peachy, pinky kind of eye look, I did want to add a little bit of pink into the look. So I'm picking up this rosy color with a different brush and I'm just going to start again just building that color up on the crease and just blending all of that out. This next color is just kind of like a darker brown slash plum kind of color and this one is just going to help me build the smoky winged liner. Um, we are going to be doing a natural wing before but I just kind of wanted to do a smoky wing liner so we're going to go ahead and apply this with an angled brush right along the lash line. Taking this champagne shimmery shade, I'm going to go ahead and apply this on the center of the lid. This will just emphasize our lid space and bring out more of that orangey pinky crease that we have going on. So just go ahead and start packing that onto our lid. Add a little bit of Plus if needed um, to intensify that color. I think I ended up doing that, but I didn't catch it on video, but um, it works a lot better if you add a little bit of water or Fix Plus to it. Then I'm taking a blending brush and I'm just gonna go ahead and blend out any harsh edges and just make sure everything is nice and seamless. For foundation, I am taking the Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. This one is in natural beige. It is a little bit light for my skin tone right now. I did go out of town last month on vacation and I did obviously get a tan. So we will make this work with bronzer. So just wait till the end result for the final look.
To conceal my under eyes, I am going to go back in with the Maybelline Master Conceal and I'm just going to be dotting it under the eye just because it is very pigmented so it is a little bit thicker and um, it is light and I'm already looking like a ghost here so I'm just going to go ahead and lightly pat this around and blend it in with my beauty sponge. bring a little life and color back into my face I'm going to be taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal in Beautiful Bronze and the same routine I'm just going to go over the areas where I am naturally bronze I like using a cream contour first and then applying my um, powder bronzer after I just love the finish it's super pretty then I'm taking my dome brush and a little bit of spray and I'm just going to go ahead and blend this sucker out just making sure it is nice and seamless, no patchiness, no harsh edges before applying our bronzer. Once I'm done blending out my contour, I'm going to go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in Fair Light. And I'm just taking this sponge right here and I'm just going to go ahead and start baking under the eyes. I'm also going to bake on my chin, on my nose, pretty much any area where I apply concealer just to set that in place. Once it sits for a little bit, you can go ahead and remove it with any brush. Here I'm just going to go ahead and dust it all off before moving on to my bronzer. To set my contour and bronze up the skin, I'm taking the MAC Give Me Sun Bronzer. I love this bronzer. It is just the perfect color. It's not too orangey and it's not like super dark and when you have a tan, it literally looks so amazing. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that in the areas where we put that contour earlier. Moving on to my favorite part which is blush, I'm going to go ahead and pick up Milani Luminoso and just an angled brush and apply it on the apples of my cheeks. I'm going to go back in and finish the lower lash, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the colors that we used on our lid and just do the same thing on the lower lash line. And then I'm also going to be taking a little bit of that highlight color and I'm going to be placing it on the inner corner. I live for an inner corner highlight and a brow highlight, so that's what I'm doing here. 
At this point, you can go ahead and apply your falsies. I'm just gonna go in with my favorite mascara at the moment and apply a nice coat. Then I'm gonna be taking my current favorite highlight, which is the Anastasia and Amrezi highlighter, and I'm just gonna go ahead and douse myself in this shit because honestly, I love it. You really don't need a lot of product to make that highlight pop, and it just gives you the most perfect glow. For lips today, I'm sticking to a peachy nude color, so I'm taking this lip liner by Revolution, and I'm going to go ahead and outline my lips. It's the perfect peachy nude color. Then I'm going to be topping it off with my NYX Lingerie Liquid Lipstick. This one is in Satin Ribbon, and it is just a pretty pale pink. Um, adding these two together is like the perfect combination, but we're not stopping there. Your girl loves a glossy lip. So I'm going to be taking the Ulta Juice Infuse Lip Oil, and I'm just going to go ahead and apply a little bit of this over top just to enhance that lip color. Next, I'm applying this Jumbo White eyeliner from NYX onto the waterline. It just brings out our eyes a little bit better, makes them look more awake. I'm then going to be taking my Maybelline Brow Precise and I'm going to be setting my brows. I just love doing this step after doing all of my powders. Then our final step is to lock our makeup in place. So we're going to be taking the Revolution Oil Control Setting Spray and just applying it all over the skin to make sure our makeup does not budge. But yeah, you guys, this completes the look. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.